Hello, I'm Michel Pahu from Microsoft Research, and here is Edwin from Surface Hub team. And so basically, what we have done is to look at what can we do with the large display. So for example, if you have a large display and you have a fixed menu on the screen, one issue that we have is people have to fight to get to the menu. Or maybe the menu might be very high, so it's very hard to reach. Or maybe you have to walk to actually get to the menu. So for all those reasons, what we did is to get an in-place command, so a menu that comes to the user instead of the user going to the menu. On the top of that, if you were a band, uh, what we do is to give you a premium experience. At the time of the touch, we know who you are, so we can give you a custom menu. So let me show you. So now if I touch here, I have my own menu. And now if Edwin touch, he has his own menu. And then what we have is here, you have a radial menu that's like a ribbon. You can imagine like the ribbon in office. So I can switch between different types of menus by just doing a gesture. By default, what we wanted is to have no Chrome on the UI. So now let's say that we are brainstorming about something. So maybe I draw something. And maybe I write like people. And he's writing something. And then maybe I draw a curve. And a right slope. And so on. And then what we can do is to go back to our menus. And then we can decide, like, to the, together we can collaborate and uh, uh, just, uh, for instance, change the strokes. So here we can even disagree on the color. No, I prefer blue, actually. <laughs> I wanted to uh, maybe trace a line or do something different. So I touch again here, and I have another type of menu. And here I can use two hands to actually, uh, with bimanual technique, I can place and size a line. I can do the same with a square, for instance. And that's possible because we use an internal API that, use, that allows us to do simultaneous pen and touch using direct ink. So that's very important. Actually, simultaneous pen and touch was not possible before, and now it's possible. So the interest of that is not only that I can do this bimanual technique with pen and touch, but also on Surface Hub, it's very important because if I'm writing on the Surface Hub, there is no reason what Edwin, why Edwin could not touch. So that's another reason. Then what we did is, let's say, if I want to uh, make a better slide, so let's say here we just sketched something, now I want to make a better slide. So I can come here, and instead of lassoing something which takes time, we have this kind of ray menu or x-ray menu that allows to select some text, and now I can convert the text to uh, regular text, or I can go back to handwriting if I want. So I can quickly go through and just convert all the text and make, like, for instance, if I wanted to make a nice slide uh, out of what we discussed. And also, because the menu is based on the band, basically the menu can follow us. So now my menu is here and his menu is with him. And also, um, you can imagine, like for instance, right now the, the picture on the machine, but they could come from the cloud. So here I have my personalized picture, and he has his personalized pictures. So that's also interesting because the menu follows you, and all your pictures can follow you with it. Also on the top of that, because we are using a band, instead of just recognizing the user, what we can do is also use gestures. So for instance, here if I touch and I release my hand, the, the, this, basically the menu goes away. But now if I touch and I twist my hand, now I can lock the menu. And that's based on the accelerometer of the band. I can know that I twist my finger and I can lock this menu. But then what we thought is on the top of that, instead of just using the band as an input, we can also be bidirectional and also use the band as an output. So here what we do is on the top of that, on this demo next here, um, we use on the top of giving you some information, knowing who you are, what we do is also to give you haptic feedback, for instance, when you change menu. So let me just wear this band. And now, I have a menu here. And when I change, it's a radial menu, but basically, when I change color, I receive a haptic feedback on the band. But what's interesting is not only for changing color, you could imagine when you snap an object, you could give haptic and so on. And also when you have multiple users, because we know which band is connected to which touch, we can also give the haptic feedback just to the person who is using that. So that's interesting. On the top of that, 
because we, have, we are using the Direct Ink API, what's interesting is that we can have multiple stylus with, with different color at the same time and with almost no lag. So that's also very interesting. And then also, thanks to this Direct Ink API, what we can do is also have the same experience on Surface Pro. So here I can touch my Surface Pro and have exactly the same type of menu. And actually, everything was developed on Surface Pro and then we deployed to those devices. So that's what we have. Thank you.